Cuban. Cuban? It's Cuban. Cuban? It's Cuban. Cuban? It's Cuban. Cuban? It's Cuban. Cuban. I think Miss Lindsay's waiting for us. No, senor. Si, senor. Never mind that. Will you tell her we're here, please? Roberts Advertising Agency, Mr. Roberts and Miss William. How do you say parfum in Spanish? Worse than I thought. Come on. Oh, George and Anne, darling. Isn't it gay? Don't you think it suits me? And these maracas. I've been practicing. I'm really quite professional with them. Yes, I can see that. Uh, you certainly are. Now, about this program with the Imperial Cossack Choir. Russian singers? What in the world are you talking about? Oh, you remember, Miss Lindsay, for the Lindsay Parfum program. Oh, I couldn't possibly have Russian singers now. I have a new Parfum. Oh, it's supreme. It's really marvelous. George, as a man, I ask you. Well, it smells... That's what parfum is supposed to do. Mmm, not bad. There, you see? It's called Cuban Rapture. Oh, it's heavenly. Six months ago, it was Arabian. Last month, it was Chinese and Russian. Now it's... it's Cuban. And I know just the band for the program. It's a little Roomba band. Oh, no, darling, I found the band. It's just too divine. Here's a record they made. Of course, they'll sound much better when I sing it with them. You do what? Well, yes, of course, George. This is the chance I've been waiting for all my life. My secret ambition. Yes, but you've never... George, I want that band for my program, so get them up here. You know how to handle these things. It looks like a nice homemade recording. Desi Arnaz and his Cuban Rhythm Band with the El Rey Sisters. I never heard of them. Of course you haven't, darling. They're my very own discovery. A friend of mine brought the record back from Cuba last week. They're in Cuba now? Yes, in a little town just outside Havana. It's called something like uh, Nomadigas. Uh, how nice. Oh. Miss Lindsay, you can't be serious about this. After all, you've used the top names in the business. Nobody ever heard of this outfit. They will, George. The whole world will hear them on the Lindsay Parfum program featuring Teresa Lindsay. Nothing else will do? Of course not, George. Once I've made up my mind, there's no turning back. So hurry up, pet. I can hardly wait to meet this Desi Arnaz. Isn't that the most delicious name you ever heard? It shrieks with chic. Great. Come on, Anne. And be sure to let me know the very minute they get here. We will. This one just came. Muy estimado, senor, le suplico no me moleste con mas ofertas como no puedo aceptarlos. Agradezco su... Say that again. Who, me? You do it. I'm going nuts. I got it. Yes? What? Uh, muy estimado, senor. Uh, le suplico no me moleste con más ofertas, como no puedo aceptarlas. Agradezco su interés, pero este el momento no es el oportuno. Mil gracias, Desi Arnaz. He says, no. No, no, no. Is that the only word there is in the Spanish language? Who does this Desi Arnaz think he is, anyway? I've bombarded him for three days. I've offered to double the money. I offered him an automobile, a bonus, a suite at the Waldorf. And all I get is no. It's ridiculous. No, yes. Confounded, he's got me doing it. Well, for once, money doesn't talk. He doesn't talk Spanish. Oh, wait a minute, don't go. I'm trying to get him on the telephone, and if you don't stick by me with those dictionaries, I'm sunk. Just as you say, boss, but we're getting an awful pushing around of this. Oh, it can't be helped. Teresa Lindsay is our most important account, and if we don't deliver on Ez and his band, we're going to lose the whole thing. She told me that this morning. This is a pretty pickle, no? Yes? No, I don't want to talk to the Internal Revenue Bureau today, no! Tax free. If I lose this account, I won't have enough money to pay it anyway. Yes? Cuba! Sure, you, you put them on, put them on. You, open the books, open the books. I'll repeat the big words and you look them up. Yes, this is Mr. Roberts. Well, Mr. I, uh, Senor Arnett. Well, well. Oh, oh, you speak English. Wonderful. 
Now, uh, Senor Arnaz, about this offer. I... Yeah, but Senor Arnaz, I... But you can write your own ticket, I... But... Your what? Brownie. Oh, what? He said no. But why? He said, I do not think the United States would be good for my brownie. Brownie? What's that? I don't know. Hung up too soon. Well, I'll look it up in the dictionary. No, he said it in English. Well, that's that. I wonder how many no's it takes to make a yes. You ought to know. You're a woman. Wait a minute. That's the answer, the feminine approach. You're going down to Cuba and find out. Me? Yes, you. You're going down there and take all those no's and make them spell yes. Oh, boy. Get your slinkiest outfits and give him the work. No backseat driving. And what's more, there's a $5,000 bonus check in it for you if you deliver Arnaz and his band and get them on that program. Yikes! Cuba, here I come. Muchas gracias, senorita. Gracias. Are you sure this is where Mr. Does he are nice? Ah, si, senorita. Buenas tardes, senorita. ¿Qué se le ofrece? I was looking for uh, senor Desi Arnaz. Ah, sí, sí. Pase usted, señorita. Gracias. Buenas tardes, señorita. Oh, I see. You are an American. Uh, yes, thank you. I was told I could find Mr. Arnaz here. Ah, uh, uh, si. Uh, they are playing in the patio. Allow me to escort you. That is Senor Pongo cero que se va. A cumba, 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 cumbanchero. Cumbanchero. A pongo, 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 pongo cero. Ponga cero. Riquiti que va sonando al cumbanchero. Pongo cero que se va. Pongo cero que se va. Cumba, 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 cumbanchero. Cumbanchero. A pongo, bongo, 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 cero. Bongo, cero. Riquiti que va sonando el cumbanchero. Bongo, cero que se va. Bongo, cero que se va. That was wonderful. Thank you, Miss... Uh... Williams. Ann Williams. Are you visiting around here? Well, not exactly. I'm here on business. You see, I'm from the Roberts Advertising Agency in New York. Oh. 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 Hello, honey. Hello. I hope you won't mind if I leave you in this excellent company. Uh, Benny Hita. 
Who is he? He is El Senor Manuel Perez, what we call El Hacendado. He owns the plantation. Oh, yes, the boss. And you're his private band. Not at all. We all work here on the plantation. And we get together like this and play music because we like it. Not for money. Oh, that's the way it is. I thought maybe I might be able to persuade you to... Go to New York? Yeah. <laughs> it's very nice of you to come down to see us, but we couldn't leave here. Not now, anyway. Well, that's no number one. And now for number two. Are you allergic to money? No. Well, I won't count that one. You have every reason to become a hit band, and you won't do anything about it. Why? Well, I told Mr. Rubbers on the phone I don't think it would be a good thing for my brownie. What is it? Animal, vegetable, or mineral? <laughs> I'll show you. Brownie! Yes, Uncle Dizzy. This is Brownie, my niece. Oh, I see. Hello, Brownie. I'm Miss Williams. Hello. Up you go. I have been taking care of her ever since my sister and her husband were kept, I mean, uh, had to go away. I understand now. They were all in New York when it happened. And Brownie was very unhappy there. So you won't go back to New York? No. That's no number two. We're off to a good start anyway. Ay, ay, ay. Can it be now? Can it be now? That's Jose. I've been looking for him all afternoon. Jose, don't disturb us. Jose is a very important member of the family. Jose, where have you been? We've got company and you must be very polite. Miss Williams, I have the great honor to introduce Jose. How do you do, Jose? I can't understand a word of it. <laughs> Just as well. <laughs> what a bird. What a bird. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. You, for instance. But listen, Desi, hundreds of bands would give their eye teeth. And that's a lot of eye teeth for a chance like this. I know, but it's such a beautiful afternoon. I see. Manana. That's one of the nicest words in the Spanish language. That is right, senorita. Manana is a good thing. Keeps you from having high blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you win. Oh, by the way, Miss Williams, I've taken the liberty of having your bag sent out from the hotel and canceling your reservations. It would be a great honor to have you stay with us. Here? Oh, I... It would be so much more convenient. Look, you got all that wall to fill up with marks. How can you do it from a hotel room? Hmm. In the States, we too have an expression. When an irresistible force meets an immovable object... You get an explosion. You will be very beautiful when you explode. Well, if you're going to twist my arm, what can I do? Thank you, Senor Perez. I'd love to stay. Ah, Consuelo. Uh, Consuelo, show the senorita to her room. Very well. Come. I'll see you. Manana. When an irresistible girl miss a beautiful forest... I mean, when an irresistible... Uh, I know. An explosion that will probably blow you all the way to New York. No! Uh, speaking of explosions, look out for Consuelo. She is dynamite, too. has been arranged specially for you. A rumba fantasy. She's 
not so pretty. It's just the clothes she wears. If we go to New York, we will get clothes too. Shh. sort of thing every night down here? No, we do things when we feel like it. You see, in Cuba, when one has a visitor, all the neighbors come in and entertain. It's like in the United States. And now that we'll probably go home and throw furniture at each other. <laughs> like in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over it, Desi. You and your band and the El Rey sisters perfectly happy to stay down here and play music for each other. About as profitable as taking in each other's washing. Wouldn't you like a little recognition? Is that important? Of course it is. And you'd be terrific in New York. Well, I... I know. Manana. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something. When Manana comes, is it still Manana again? Of course. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> Look, did you ever think of staying down in Cuba? You don't really have to go back to New York, do you? Me? Oh, oh no, I couldn't stay here. Well, when I went to school, they taught me that two negatives make an affirmative. So every time you say no to me, it cancels one of these. If we leave them alone, maybe she will convince him. I do not want her to convince him. I mean about going to New York. Records. I'm beginning to see why you don't want to leave here. Nights like this, everybody's so friendly and no hurry or worry. That's what we mean when we say mañana. I know. I'm certainly a fine high-pressure salesman. I don't think. I think you're the most... What is gorgeous? What is gorgeous? Jose, you're up late tonight. Thank you, insomnia. He said he's got insomnia. Oh, that's too bad. So you have to come around here bothering us, huh? Come on, you also. He's just trying to help me out. Oh, he's doing all right, Jose. He and that darn moon. Con Luna, oh, si Luna. What did he say? Oh, he just said that if he had a beautiful girl like you in the moonlight, he would uh, hold her hand. Now what? Well, he said that he would put his arm around her. What did he say now? He said that he would kiss her. Did he really say that? Mm-hmm. Well, if he really said it. Didn't say that, didn't say that. Oh, you fixed me up just fine. Saved by the bird. What a gorgeous, what a gorgeous. Well, I do know what Buenas Noches means, and he's right. Good night, Desi. Good night, Anne. <laughs> Does everybody have insomnia tonight? How can you win? I've been wondering the same thing myself. What? Are we going to New York? No. You go to bed and take that pirate with you. <laughs> ah! You are going away, are you not? Yes, darling. I've got to go to New York. I wish you would stay here. Do you, dear? Yes, and so does Uncle Desi. Did he tell you that? He did not have to. Well, you see, darling, I wanted to take you and your Uncle Desi and the girls and the whole band to New York. But Desi doesn't want to go. Why? Oh, he doesn't think it's a good place for little girls like you. Are there no little girls in New York? Oh, yes, lots of them. No reason why you shouldn't go to New York, is there? 
That's what I thought. Maybe if you help me, we could make him change his mind. I would love to go if I could be with you. All right, it's a deal. Now listen, I'll tell you what we'll do. You did this. <laughs> What's the matter? I want to go to New York with you. Oh, please, please. But, honey, you've got to stay here with your Uncle Desi. Oh, no, please. He's mean to me. He beats me. Are you crazy? I never did such a thing. <laughs> oh, you must be mistaken. Your uncle loves you. Oh, no, he do not. He won't take me to New York. <laughs> Since when did you want to go to New York? Since just now. <laughs> all right, so we all go to New York, but nobody's fooling me. <laughs> what did he say? That was my son. <laughs> What about me? Oh, I haven't forgotten about you. I'm going to give you top billing right now. George, you've met everybody but the most important member of this band. This is Brownie. Well, I'm very happy to meet you, young lady. And that's an understatement. What is an understatement? Well, it's, uh... Socorro, socorro. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. Brownie, don't bother Mr. Roberts now. We've got a lot of work to do. And you're wonderful. Where's your band? It's at the broadcasting station. Good. Call Miss Lindsay. Tell her that Desi Arnaz will be at the broadcasting station and everything is under control. Roto, roto. Well, almost everything. <laughs> We'd better get over there and get organized. See? Si. Yes. Let's get right to work, huh? That's what I like. None of this manana business. What do you say, girls? Okay. Well, we girls have a few things to do before we're ready to go to work. You go ahead and we'll join you later. Is that all right with you, Desi? Sure, we'll see you then. Let's go, Brownie. Bye. Goodbye. Wait for me downstairs. Ah, ah, adios, adios. Oh, that's good looking, Consuelo. Do you think you will like it? Desi? Oh, no, no. That nice looking Mr. Robert. Oh, so that's the way it is. I think he's very nice. Is he married? No. Oh, yes, I think he's very nice. But what about Desi? I thought you... Oh, Desi, I give to you. Besides, you could never see me for the dust. You're sure he'll like this? Oh, I'm sure he will. And thanks for Desi. <laughs> Matumba que dice bururu cum pu, bururu cum pa. Que mi rumba matumba que zumba bururu cum pu, bururu cum pa. Que mi rumba matumba que zumba bururu cum pu, bururu cum pa. Que mi rumba matumba que zumba bururu cum pu, bururu cum pa. Great number, Desi. Great. Thank you. You'd better drop into the office in the morning. The contracts are all oh, set. Mr. Uh, uh, this is Miss Lindsay. Oh, Mr. Rodez, you look exactly the way I thought you would. And that heavenly orchestra. 
They are just too divine. Well, we added a few men. Naturally. And now you're going to add me. What? Well, didn't they tell you? Well, no, we... Oh, I know. You wanted to keep it as a surprise. I don't think I understand. I'm going to sing with your orchestra. But we have singers, the El Races. Oh, yes, of course you have, dear boy. I know. But I've decided to take their place. You see, I've been practicing and I'm really very good. Have the boys play something. Uh, play La Cucaracha. Oh, I know that one. Is she kidding? Now, don't worry. She gets crazy ideas like this sometimes, but we'll talk to her. Sure, nothing to worry about. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. Ya no puede caminar. ¿Por qué no tiene? ¿Por qué no tiene? Los tabacos que fuma. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. Yo no puedo caminar, porque le falta, porque le falta, los tabacos de bucaracho. Little girl, was that you making that noise? Well, I... Indeed! Amazing! I can't let her sing with my orchestra. Don't worry, we'll take care of that. How did you like it? Oh, it was fine, Lindsay. Uh, but don't you think we ought to hold you in reserve for one of the later programs? Oh, dear me, no. I'm going to be on the very first program. Well, I must run now. You must have dinner with me very soon. I think we're going to have a little trouble. Who's the boss? You should know. Hello, Consuelo. You look wonderful. When in America, I do as Americans do. You like it? Great. How did you know I like blonde? So you want to be an American, eh? All right, we'll fix that. We'll translate your name into English. Oh, you mean um, El Rey? Sure, that means king, doesn't it? We'll call them the King Sisters. King Sisters, okay. Glad you like it. Come on, I got to show you a new number. Yes, I uh, see what she means. What are you talking about? She thinks you're very nice. Well, I think she's very nice, too. That's nice. Consuelo. What's the matter, darling? I cannot sleep. All right, honey. Lie down. Close your eyes. The Sandman's coming soon. Arriving. From the skies, some stardust for your eyes. So hush and don't you weep. He'll sing you fast asleep with his dreamer's lullaby. He'll lead you by the hand into his wonderland. Children play along the Milky Way. So go to sleep, my dear. The Sandman's almost here with his dreamer's lullaby. While sailing a cloud in the sky, you touch.
Consuelo. <laughs> gets a load of you. Me? But there's Desi and my sisters and Brownie. Oh, you mean those people you brought along with you? All right, I'll include them as a background. <laughs> In Spanish, we call that a piropo. But it's nice to listen to. Piropo, eh? Well, if you like them, I'll have some special ones sent up here from Cuba just for you. But they don't come from Cuba. They come from the heart. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Look, honey, I don't know about piropos. But tomorrow night, I'm going to introduce you all to the press. We need a little advanced publicity before the opening broadcast. All the radio reporters will be there, and if they don't do nip-ups over your program, I'm a wooden Indian. You're no wooden Indian. And that's no piropo. All right, boys, we'll meet at the Crystal Club tonight. Well, we're all set for you reporters. I hope you just give them that kind of music, and you won't have a thing to worry about. Oh, by the way, Ann. I brought you a bonus check. You certainly earned every penny of that $5,000. $5,000? Yes. Whew, that's a lot of money. It's worth it to me. You see, I promised it to Ann if she'd... Boss, don't you think we'd better... If she'd go down to Cuba and bring you up here for the Lindsay program. Oh, I see. So that's what I'm worth worse to you. He only meant that... To get you to come to New York. And you certainly did it, Ann. Yes, you certainly did. Desi, wait! Did I say something? Oh, no, boss. You just cut my throat, that's all. <laughs> oh, dear. I just wish I knew the name of the number they're going to play tonight. Then I could do it with them for those lovely reporters. It's a very difficult number, Miss Lindsay. Yes, Arnaz told me it took him years to learn it. Oh, don't you worry about me. I learn numbers very fast. If you have a feeling for a laugh and crime, then 
get set good people for a lovely time. Hang on to your dollar, it won't cost a dime. Here's a chap who'll take you there in song and rhyme. I'll take you where the nights are gay. And when you're there, you'll want to stay. Have you ever been south of the Rio Grande and find your temperature is rising to beat the band? When a lovely senorita, she holds your hand, the South American way. Come with me and you'll see what we do in Rio de Janeiro. Brazil, the land of gaiety and love. The stars caress you from above. And there's one thing I'm certain of. You love Brazil. I'm sure you will. And if you like to travel more, we'll take a train to Ecuador, Chile, Bolivia, or Peru, Venezuela, Guatemala, and Panama to Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Argentina, Puerto Rico, Uruguay, and Paraguay. Boy, there's a lot of countries on there. But ladies and gentlemen, before you come back to the USA, you must visit my country for just one day. I don't want you to think that I'm the boastful type, but right now I believe that the time is ripe to tell you who I really am. Amigo, me hace el favor del sombrero, eh? Muchas gracias. In Havana, they call me Q and Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom. Yes, sir, I'm Q and Pete. I'm the craze of my native street. When I start to dance, everything goes chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom. The senoritas, they sing and how they swing with this rumbero is very nice, so full of spies. And when they're dancing, they bring a happy ring, never a carol, singing a song all the day long. So if you like the beat, take a lesson from Cuban Pete, and I'll teach you to chick chicky boom chick chicky boom chick chicky boom. See, si, senorita, I know that you will like the chicky boom chick, cause it's the dance of Latin romance. And Cuban Pete doesn't beat you in a hurry like Arthur Mary. You're now in Havana. And there's always mañana. So, senorita, please, take it easy. Do it with ease. And you'll love it when you do the chick, chick, chicky, boom, chick, chicky, boom. Chick, 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 And he's all mine. How divine. Oh, dear boy, I just can't tell you. It certainly was. Uh, congratulations, Desi. Thank you. I told you, didn't I? I certainly did. And day after tomorrow is the first Lindsay broadcast. I can scarcely wait. I would like to use this number. Oh, but of course, dear boy. I wouldn't dream of you not using the number. You know that part where you go... Yes. That's where I'll come in. You'll come in? Yes, and finish the number with you. I'm sorry, Miss Lindsay. I can't let you sing with my orchestra. Miss Lindsay, let me explain. You stay out of this, George. Perhaps you're not aware of it, Mr. Arnaz, but I pay you, and you'll do as I tell you to do. Miss Lindsay, in the first place, I did not want to come to New York. In the second place, I don't want you to sing with my orchestra, and in the third place, if you do, I'll go back to Cuba. Now, wait a minute. You signed a contract with me. Don't you forget that. I don't care about contracts. I can go back to Havana any time I feel like it. Then I shall sue you. All right, señora. Usted haga lo que usted quiera. Esto ya ha llegado al colmo. Usted puede hacer lo que usted quiera. Demándeme si quiere. And that means go ahead. Well, 
And after I discovered them. It looks as if he'll have to be discovered all over again. Don't you see you'll be keeping the band and the girls from the biggest chance they'll ever have? You can't leave the country. And if that crazy woman sings on the program, they'll throw us out of the country. No, we better go now. But she won't sing. We'll hog tie her before we'll let her. I know all about your sponsors. They always have the last word, but not with my orchestra. I have to tell Brownie we're going back to Cuba. Don't do it, Desi. Why not? You have your $5,000. What difference does it make to you? Desi, I didn't. Is that you, Uncle Desi? Right here, Brownie. Hello, dear. You waiting for us to tuck you in? Get down, Chiquita. I was wondering why you did not come in and say goodnight to me. Well, you knew I would. And I got something else to tell you. I know. It's about Coney Island. Coney Island? Yes. You and Miss Williams promised to take me tomorrow. Don't you remember? That's right, dear. We did. Well, looks like we have to change our plans. Please, Uncle Desi, you promise. And it isn't right to break a promise, is it, darling? That's what you always told me. We'll talk about it in the morning. Now you go back to sleep. Good night, Brownie. Good night. Don't forget Uncle Desi. All right, all right. Uncle Desi. Now what is it? If we ever go back to Cuba, can Miss Williams go with us? No. Go to sleep. Well, what's it going to be? Cuba or Coney Island? What do you think? Coney Island? Yeah, you're crazy. I said I was going back to Cuba, and by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, we'll be packed and on our way. But you promised, Brownie. I'm not going to Coney Island. I don't want any part of the place. Is this Coney Island? Not yet, darling. One thing you must remember, Desi. When Mr. Roberts offered me a bonus to go to Cuba and get you, I didn't know you at all. I'll admit I came to sell you a bill of goods, but then you sold me one, and the bonus didn't matter anymore. Now, you say something, Uncle Desi. I have nothing to say. He's still mad. What is that? The root of all evil. What are you doing? I'm going to tear it up. Five thousand dollars? Well, it seems to be the only way to convince that stubborn mind of yours. Come here. Did she convince your stubborn mind, Uncle Desi? Yes, she did. Only I don't assume this time is. to make a test of your voice. You can sing if you like back here. You could talk. Why, you can tell your sweetheart how much you love her. You can crow like a rooster. It's only two bits a quarter. How about that? Come on, Uncle Desi. Make a record. I got 25 cents. Well, that's a good idea, honey. Just give me the two bits and walk right on inside. Go right on in. Go right on in, folks. We're making records right now. There's no waiting. Walk straight in the back, folks. Right on in, please. All right. Who's going to do what? Uncle Desi. Yes, and sing something. All right. After tonight, the world won't seem right without you. There is something about you I could never forget. After tonight, I hope that I might be saying that my heart is obeying something I won't regret without you I go on reminiscing without you what a wonderful life I've been missing 
tonight this heavenly sight before me will be here to adore me forever after tonight without you I go on reminiscing without you Wonderful life I'd be missing After tonight this heavenly sight Before me Will be here to adore me Forever after Tonight Say, Mr. I'll give you a quarter to make me a record. You think he's worth it? You just listen to him on the Lindsay Parr Fun Program tomorrow afternoon. Don't waste your time, amigo. I won't be on it. Oh, don't you think it's about time you cancel those plane reservations for Cuba now? Not unless I can get rid of Miss Lindsay. But I'll keep her out of the way. I promise. I give you my word. And besides, you can't disappoint this gentleman. He'll be listening in tomorrow afternoon. That's right. I don't know why I keep believing you what I do. Okay, it's a deal. There you are. Thanks a lot, partner. Bye. Yes, Miss Lindsay. Yes, I know. Yes, but please, I... I said you had a beautiful voice, Miss Lindsay. Magnificent. But we can't throw out the King Sisters at the last moment. Desi will walk out on the whole thing and you'll be standing in front of a mic with no music. All right, Miss Lindsay. All right. Have a tummy ache. Oh, hello, little girl. Hello. Are the King sisters at home? No, but they will be back pretty soon. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll wait. I just wanted to tell them that I don't mind if they want to go back to Cuba. I've learned all their numbers, so they won't have to. <gasps> That horrible bird again. He is not horrible. He just do not feel good. How do you know? He told me. I think he ought to see a doctor. I wish my Uncle Desi were here. He would take him to a doctor. Your Uncle Desi's very fond of you, isn't he? Oh, yes. He'd do just about anything for you, wouldn't he? Oh, yes. You know, honey, he does look sick. Poor Jose. Poor Jose. Look, if I do something for you, like taking Jose to the doctor, will you speak to your Uncle Desi for me? About what? Tell him you want me to sing with his orchestra on my program this afternoon. But I don't. Oh, of course you do, especially if I take Jose to the doctor. After all, everything is for Jose, my dear. All right. That's wonderful. Come along, we'll take you to the very finest doctor in New York City. Nothing is too good for Jose. <laughs> Good afternoon, Miss Lindsay. What in the world? I think he knows he is going to see the doctor. Doctor, my foot. Doctor, my foot. It is all right, Jose. I think it is his teeth. I must see the doctor immediately. Oh, I'm very sorry, but... Oh, no, no, no. This is an emergency. Come along. There you are. Now, Miss Lindsay, I'm a very busy... Uh... Ah, ah. What's that? Let me go into your office. I'll explain. Miss Lindsay, may I ask what you intend doing with that bird? That's just exactly what I intended asking you, Alvin. He is sick. Now your goggles. Now your goggles. What's the matter with him? He's very ill. I wish you'd fix him up. We'd better call a doctor. Oh, yes. Well, I don't care what you do as long as you take care of him. Would you get my office on the phone, please? I'll be right back. Come, my little man. What seems to be the trouble? That's a good boy. Say ah. Say ah. Sounds like a sore throat. Let me see your tongue. Let me see your tongue. Doctor, would you come in and see Mrs. Trimble a moment? Yes, of course. 
You stay right here. Stop making such a fuss, Jose. The doctor will be right back. Oh, look, Jose. We're way up high. The people look so little down there. Anything serious, Doctor? Well, I'll tell you. Terribly serious. Terribly serious. Really? Why? Is it? Oh, boy. Is it? Oh, boy. I don't know, but I'll call the police right away. Get me the police. Attention all cars. Be on the lookout for a seven-year-old girl, curly brown hair, answering to the name of Brownie. She has a parrot with her. Yes, a parrot. <laughs> Senorita, please, take it easy. Miss Lindsay, you'll hear from me. I'll sue you. I'll sue you. You see? What have you done, Miss Lindsay? Get me the police. Get me the police. Let me out of here. Let me out of this place this instant. There she is. Brownie, darling. Brownie, are you all right? Hello, Uncle Dizzy. We have a lovely time. Her uncle, eh? Okay, take the works. You find out who you're talking to. I want a lawyer. I want two lawyers. I've never been so insulted in my whole life. Miss Lindsay, she does not feel good. She ought to see a doctor. And you can take that woman with you when you go. Well, we don't want to take her. She's a... Uh... We don't even know her. Oh, please take her out of here, lady. I can't stand this. What's she charged with? Disturbing the peace. Well, that's enough to keep her here for the night. For the night. Lady, you can't do this to me. My nerves won't stand it. Well, I'll talk to her. I shall complain to the police. I shall even... <gasps> Anne! Oh, thank heavens you're here. Here is somebody to identify me. It's not going to be that easy, Miss Lindsay. Why, whatever do you mean? You do something for me, and I'll do this for you. What? Don't sing on the program with Desi and his orchestra this afternoon, or any afternoon. But all my life I've been waiting to... The sergeant just told me he had you on 15 or more counts. Oh, dear. All right. It's a deal. Few seconds to go. Oh, where is he? Ah, ah. You'll have to go on without him for your first number. Well, we're going on the air. Lindsay Parfum program is on the air, featuring the sensational musical discovery Desi Arnaz, his orchestra and entire company, featuring the King Sisters. I'll never forget. 
met him, night that I met him, a thousand guitars were playing, and stars above were saying, love's in the air, and my heart was saying, I thought to resist him, finally kissed him, when I heard my heart say surrender. With a smile so tender, we say goodbye to a night of splendor. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That night was heaven when one little kiss brought us such bliss, and my life was so complete again. Supreme and evil, si lo encuentra ocupado, si le muy merecido. Ay, 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 that night was splendor. That cat's really bout, but he had to cut out and let me with those blues again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the King Sisters introduce that Cuban rhythm king, Senor Desi Arnaz, doing his famous number, Cuban Pete. <laughs> about Sloppy Joe, the last of Mario, but the band of having a sensation, he's really a modest guy, good luck darling, he's the hardest guy in the band of, and here's what he has to say. They call me Cuban Beat. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. So if you like the beat, take a lesson from Cuban Pete, and I'll teach you to chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. See, si, senorita, I know that you will like the chicky boom chick, cause it's the dance of Latin romance. And Cuban Pete doesn't teach you in a hurry like Arthur Mary. You're now in Havana, and there's always mañana. So, senorita, please, take it easy, do it with ease. And you'll love it when you do the chick, chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom. Chick, 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 chicky boom, chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom. Chick, chicky boom. 